We're going to draw a pop art inspired elf. I'm really excited about it. I love these designs, uh, mainly because I made them up, so don't steal them. Draw along with me, all right? You'll need uh, a pencil, something to ink it with, like a Sharpie, like this. And then we're going to go with reds and greens. You might need a yellow and a skin tone, the skin tone of your choice. All right, so uh, let's start. I'm going to come right here. So here's a third of the page, here's a third of the page, and here's a third of the page. I'm going to go to that bottom third, and I'm just going to draw this line. Okay? And then I'm going to make an angled line, and then I'm going to come over here and make the opposite angle. So this is going to look just like the uh, bottom of the Santa hat that we did the other day. Now I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to even these up a little bit, and now I'm going to connect those so I've got that shape. Yeah? Okay. Let's go ahead and draw a big U. And I'm going to come over here. Okay, so for the bottom of this guy, it's just a big rectangle. It's kind of going to go off the page, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go to the top of the page and I'm going to draw a circle. So um, I want to go to the middle, so that's about the middle of the page, right? And I'm going to draw circle remember they don't have to be perfect it went off the page a little bit which is fine the great thing about circles is you can just keep doing circles until you get the right shape all right so there's the circle at the top of the page I'm gonna find the middle of it so that's right here and I'm just gonna make a little mark that I can see you can make a little mark too. remember to pause the video when you need to pause the video so that you can catch up. So now I'm going to draw an imaginary line just straight up here and I'm going to make a mark. So straight up from the side of his head and then straight up here from the side of his head. All right. And then I'm going to go from this mark, the center of the circle, all the way down here and the same thing over here. Now you might want to use a straight edge. That's fine. I don't have a straight edge long enough for that here at the table, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let me show you how I do it. So I'm going to turn the page so that it is lined up so I can just draw straight down towards me, right? And I'm going to put my pencil here or my Sharpie here, and I'm coming here. So I'm not even going to, the only thing I'm going to look at while I draw this, the only thing I'm looking at is this mark right here, all right? So I'm going to start here, and now I'm looking at that mark, and I almost made it, all right? Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to look at that mark, and I'm going to come straight down. And I almost made it there too, right? So it doesn't have to be perfect. It's still a pretty straight line, and that's great. I'm going to do some shading over here anyway, so it's going to look fine, okay? Let's do his face. So I'm going to come... I don't know, like, is that half an inch? Right right about here, the width of my finger. And I'm going to do another U shape. And then over here, same thing, I'm going to start here. That's where I'm aiming at. And this is, how, how can I measure that? So I'm going to measure it. It's about that length. So you can measure, use any measuring anything to measure that you want. You don't have to measure at all. You can just get close. Then I'm going to come down. And those are pretty, pretty good. Ooh. This might be a little goth to sell. Okay. Now I'm going to do his nose, and I'm going to come straight down this line. I'm going to come to a point up here, and then do that, right? 
So you come, you make a curved line to a point, and then you come back, and it looks almost like a like Aladdin's lamp, kind of. Um, okay. And then he's smiling. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come over here, kind of halfway between the point of his nose and his cheek, and I'm just gonna draw a straight line there, and then I'm gonna draw a little bit of a curved line, and then that opposite angle going up like that. Okay? Take your time, pause the video if you need to, measure when you need to measure. I'm going to come back to this corner, and I'm going to go, let's just go straight down, and straight down over here too. And then I'm going to do another kind of curved line, and then a parentheses going down, like coming this way, if, if you were doing parentheses. And I'm going to go ahead and color that in. Okay. Let's go back up to his eyes. Let's draw, let's come halfway. So I'm halfway. And I'm just going to draw diagonal from halfway on this line to halfway on this line. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and color the, his eyes in too. Now if you want you can make make his eyes have some color, but I like I like having them all black. They're a lot more dramatic. I might come back to that later and add some, add some stuff. Um, I'm a, I am gonna make that a little smaller to be the right size with that to match to match the two triangles. Okay. Now he's an elf, so we got to give him some pointed ears. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a curved line up like that, and then the same thing over here. So find the point, go straight over. Okay. And here I'm gonna do a parentheses and a closed parentheses over here and then a C shape but I'm not going to finish it and a backward C shape over here. Okay. Great. So there there are his ears. Um, yeah. So great. Now I'm going to write, you know how on Santa we wrote the ho ho ho's around uh, I'm going to write joy on this one. It was jingle, but jingle, like you can see here, I did jingle on the painting, but uh, that's, a, that's a lot of letters. So we're just going to do joy. Remember that the ultimately we want the these letters to be big up here in the corners and then sort of smaller, right? So I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to do a circle here, like, uh, there's an O there, and then a Y. Now listen, I know not all of you enjoy making letters. They don't have to be perfect, let me remind you. Just do your best and get some letters on there. Okay? I'm going to make a big J over here. J's I have always found difficult, which is weird because my first name starts with J, but they're just, they're a challenge. All right. What did I put down here? And, uh, I'm going to do another J, but which way do I want? Now remember, 
the letters are behind the L. This is a big one. Uh, right. Now it's J O. I don't know why I did this. I shouldn't have gone this way. Show you how I'll fix these in a second. Wow, I'm not going to be happy with this at all. Oh, we're kind of getting into like a letter traffic jam. Okay, well, this is a disaster. Oh, well. All right, uh, I'm going to put another J here. See how I have to draw J's like in these weird segments? Who, who invented this letter? That's what I want to know. And then I'm going to draw some smaller ones. Well, I mean the Phoenicians. We have the Phoenicians to blame. They invented writing. They say, you know, that's what the history books say. If you believe history. And I suppose we should. Jeez, okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'm, I'm really, I'm getting a little crazy here. There's just a, a lot of joy happening in this drawing. So your letters don't have to look exactly like mine, remember that. Um, but they do need to be more than just the written letter. They do need to be bubbled. But mine are pretty angular. I'm doing them that way on purpose though because uh, that makes it easier to figure out which direction to put the shadow um, later. Okay, so I think that's it. Here's a question. Do we want to do stripes on the hat? Do you want to? Gosh, I don't know. If we did stripes, what would we do? I'm going to do two different colors of green. All right. So I'm going to make a curved line up, and then hopefully I can sort of repeat that line, make them parallel. And now let's use some forced perspective. How about that? That's where you make it seem like it's longer than it is by, by making the lines, the spaces smaller. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see if that works. So it'll make it look like it's going farther away. Where's this lid? Oh, that's right. That's right, Dave. Um, Okay, so now it's time to color it. Don't skip the coloring. Don't go quickly through the coloring just to get it done. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but go ahead and do a good job on the coloring. Uh, color along with me. I'm going to speed this up, but uh, here we go. I'm going to start with uh, his feet. Well, obviously his ear, but his skin. Um, and I went with a pink for this elves skin. But remember, elves come in every, all the races we come in, all of the colors, so they can be whatever color. A a nobody, not very many people are this color in life, except for like pigs. I need a name for this elf. Um, I don't know. What are, what are elves' names? Are they, are they uh, probably just like normal names? Like Bob? Is this Bob? Bob the elf? Or like cute Christmas names like Jingle? What about this? Here's a question. 
ha is this the same? Uh, okay. So Legolas is an elf in Lord of the Rings. I had this holiday or this Thanksgiving tradition. It's my own tradition. Only I do it. It's not like with my family. Uh, but when I lived in New York, I was uh, all alone at Thanksgiving, which was okay. It's, it's really better that way. Um, one year. And uh, so I learned how to make, the, make a turkey and stuffing and, you know, all that stuff. And that year, Lord of the Rings, like the Fellowship of the Ring and the Two Towers and Return of the King were like on rotation on TBS or something. And it's all, I, it, I just turned it on. And I listen to it. So from then on, I always, uh, I always just turn it on in the background when I'm doing like art and stuff. Um, and where was I going with this? Oh, so I, I just recently watched Fellowship of the Ring. I didn't make it through the whole thing because I got distracted. But uh, I listened to Fellowship of the Ring while I was doing stuff. And, you know, there are elves in Lord of the Rings. Are these the same kind of elves? No, I don't think so. But but do they have the same kind of names? Do they live in a different part of Middle Earth? Or are these entirely different species? Ever think of that? Or just different races? I don't know. These are tough questions. Uh, all right. I'm leaving this white. And then I'm going to... Do, I'm going to alternate greens. I'm going to do a light green and then a dark green. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, I am because I started. Anyway, these are just things to, to ponder while you're coloring. The point is, would this elf be named Legolas? Or is it like, is it a Keebler elf? It's closer to a Keebler elf. I think that's trademarked, so we can't talk about it. Oh yes, this is going to be lovely. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to like this, actually. But I'm, I'm, I've committed, huh? The great thing is, this is made of paper. Which means it's easy to start over if I need to. You know, it's funny. I The lighter green color I like until I put it with this more like green green color, like more like true green color. And now that lighter green color looks a lot more like olive-ish to me. So if I had just done that color all the way up, I probably would have been happier. That's okay. I wonder what this color looks like. I'll do three colors. This is just like that one. Uh, now it's a now I now I got problems going overseas. All right. So I'm going to stick with my plan, and I'm going to rotate the lighter green with the darker green. And I want it to be pretty smooth. So I'm cross coloring, which is a word I just made up. No, oh, somebody's here. It's my nephew. <laughs> They're my nephew. Um, if this were, <laughs> uh, if I were like, Mr. Rogers, then uh, you would be a mailman. Hey, hey, you can come in. What? What are you doing? Not nothing. I have Parker. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm. I mean, you can open the door. I'm making a drawing tutorial. Ooh. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. The dogs are coming here. It's all right. Yeah, we'll knock down. No, it's fine. What are you guys up to? 
Nothing. He's the one driving the Jeep. Or the, well, hey! The little Jeep, and then... What are you doing? What are you... Oh, that's it? I guess so. Okay. What's this for? Uh, it's for my fifth grade art class. Mm. Fine arts class. Do you have audio on it right now? Or? Yeah. It's okay. Oh, okay. I'm coloring. I'll probably fast forward through this anyway. Oh, okay. um, do you want to say hi? Say hi to Draven. Or Draven, say hi to everybody. This is my nephew, Draven. You will uh, you won't see him. Hello, fifth grade class. That's that's Draven. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Hi. So, all right, well. See you. All right, see you later. Okay. Now I'm going to pick a red. I think I'm going to go with this uh, orange or red color. Now, I don't want to color through the letters, and I want to be careful about, uh, I'm leaving this white, I'm leaving this white, and then, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with that. That might be yellow. Okay, so I'm going to, oh, that's very orange. It's okay. It's okay. I'll fix it right now. Let's see if I add this color. If that's just going to be a disaster. I don't want my sharpener edge. Man, this is a difficult situation we find ourselves in. Hmm. What do I do here? I should have checked these colors out. Oh, that's the one I want. I should have checked these colors out before, huh? A professional would have done that, but you know, I'm not. I'm not trying to win any awards here. Except, like, coolest teacher ever. But I mean, I already got that. I'm a. I'm a past recipient of that. Okay, so that's going to be a little weird up here. And I may have to add some distractions. Okay, here we go. So remember, we want this to be smooth, which means that, and uh, pretty full of color, which means that Um, yeah, I'm going to color from different directions. And I'm pressing pretty hard. I'm going to have to go find my sharpener. Um, it should, oh, it's right here. Good deal. That would have been cool when, when Draven and Parker came in, if it, if it was like the mailman or a policeman. And then like, like Mr. Rogers, we could have a discussion about, like, what do you do? But then he would say, well, what do you do? And I would say, well, I, you know, I color. <laughs> and then he'd be like, ah, oh, I wish I had your job. And I would say, no, I wish I had your job because you're making a difference. And I am making an elf picture. No, that's cool. There's nothing more important than art. That is true. Well, art and, and teaching art. And like music and theater and dance. I don't even know what macrame is. I think you do it with noodles. <laughs> it's 
Sometimes you have macrame and cheese, and it's delicious. Okay, there's half of it. There's half of them done. Um, I'm going to go see if Draven and Parker are still here in a second. Oh, shoot. And then I'll be right back. They were gone. They, they were gone. So uh, I missed them. I should have stopped, but it's hard to stop in the middle. I've noticed you all don't have trouble stopping in the middle of your projects. Um, <laughs> but I do. All right, let's keep going. You know, I make these for fifth graders, but it occurs to me that anybody could do these. So if you're a mom or a dad forced to watch these with your kid at home, I mean, usually we do, we do these in class, but not always, then uh, feel free to join in. Make your parents do these. Make them do them. Art's good for everybody. So this is where things get a little complicated and I've got letters on top of letters. I'm not sure what I'm going to do when I do the, uh, the shading in a second. Um, so I've got this J. And then I've got this Y. So this is red. And I guess that's red. I hope you didn't do this to yourselves. I hope you spaced your letters in a way that was smarter than me. And then that's, this is O. That's Y. That's J. Okay. Man. Christmas, Christmas is killing my reds and greens. I gotta tell you. And my black Sharpies. You buy these. I have this set of pencils that I love. These these uh, shuttle art pencils. Like for this stuff. But you get a whole set of them. I mean these are artist problems. You get a whole set of them. But I'm, I'm going to need new reds and greens. Before I need like new. Like burnt umbers and yellow umbers and stuff like that. Also, I'm trying something different right now. I'm going to add the shadows to the letters um, after I get the color on. And I'm not sure that was the smart thing to do, but I wanted to see. And, I, you know, I could have done that as a practice session, but who has time for practice? I mean, when you're doing art, it's always practice. That's all it is. That's why, you know, I'm practicing my art. Doctors also practice. That's all they do. They have a practice, and they practice, and lawyers, and teachers, and yoga instructors. I think I, I would enjoy being a yoga instructor, like if I learned yoga. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'd be awful. I'd be like, guys, this is boring. Don't hold the pose. <laughs> Move on. Let's go get some chips. <laughs> oh, 
no. I broke the lead. I'm such a such a strong drawer. Oh no. I let it get away from me. I got in a hurry. I started thinking about the other two tu tutorials that I have to do before we come back from Thanksgiving break. I got in a hurry. And that's just, that's a good lesson. Because one of the points of art is that to do it well, well, to do anything well, you got to be in the moment, right? You got to be in the present moment. That's what it means when you're in the zone in sports or in theater. More importantly, in theater. Forget I made a sports reference. I don't understand it. Uh, but in theater, you get in this place where you're in the zone. And everything goes right. And then it's over and you can't really remember how, how you got there. That's how you know it's going well. You know, normally I tell you to color it like how you want to color it, but in this case, um, number one, some people, some of... I don't remember what I was saying when I got interrupted. <laughs> one of the memory cards was full. Had to delete some stuff. Uh, but we're good to go now. Okay, so remember that uh, last time, well, actually, I'm not 100% sure what order you're going in. I might let you pick your order. And if I did, then you might have cho picked this one to start with. So let me just explain that uh, we want to create sort of a, a warp speed effect or like a light speed effect. So um, like on Star Trek, which you should all watch, like Star Trek, like the next generation or Deep Space Nine or Voyager, uh, you know, any of those. You can you can skip the original. It hurts my heart to say that, but you can. Uh, if you watch those when the captain says, warp speed now, then all the stars, like there's this cool effect. So that's what we want to do now. So I'm going to pick, uh, uh, let's see, I'm going to pick that orange color. And I'm going to just draw lines radiating out like this, right, from the center. So, but obviously I don't want to, like, draw over stuff. Okay, so start doing that. You can pick colors. So here's the thing. You want to stay in the same... Uh, same color family, so like reds, but you could do pinks, any, uh, any tint of that, that has red in it. You could even like add a purple and it would look pretty cool, but not a lot of purple. I'll, I'll do that. I'll add purple at the end so you can see what that looks like. So this, like on the camera, you can probably, yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, you got to really thicken this orange up because it's sort of disappearing, but that's okay because I'm going to do some more. And my starting point, when I remember, I'm trying to remember my starting point is right here. It helps to make the warp speed noise. Also, uh, you know, if you're more of a Star Wars fan, it's Punch It Chewy. Did I tell you? I have actually piloted the Millennium Falcon. Now you might be thinking that I'm talking about the ride at Disneyland, but no. I'm saying I piloted the actual, actual Millennium Falcon. Uh, I have pictures to prove it. I'll show you someday. Or maybe I won't. Uh, I'm going to see if I can even see a pink, if there's a point. I don't know that there's a point. 
Not sure there's a point. I'm going to pick this red. What's this red look like? Oh, yeah, you can see that. And I'm not being too careful. I'm trying to avoid, like, the letters. Although I haven't done a great job of that. So if you want to be better than me, avoid the letters when you're doing the streaks. Sorry, sometimes I pull it to me and I don't pay attention to whether or not you can see what I'm doing. All right, I think, I think it's time for the purple. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pick a, I want a pretty dark purple. Oh, that's brown. What a disaster that would have been. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to try this first. Yep. And I'm going to kind of use a lot of this. And I'm just scribbling, right? Like, But when you put the purple in, the other lines sort of stand out. Can you see that? Yeah, you can tell. Oh, man. I broke it. Ah, it broke again. I'm going to switch to a, a different purple, but a very close purple. Really, you know, we're talking violet here. Let's see. It's a little darker, so I'm not going to push it hard. Sometimes I look at the camera with a strange expression on my face. It's because I'm I'm looking at the monitor to, to make sure that what I'm doing is visible to you. In case you were like, what is he doing? Why does he look like that? Number one, you shouldn't make fun of me because of how I look. Number two, I look okay. You know, for an old guy. Okay. I think, I think I've about got it. All right. Great. Let me, now here's what I want to do. I want to go back in. I'm going to use the bladed Sharpie. Uh, and I want to, I want to shade um, on the elf, I'm going to say the light is coming from this direction, right? Because there's, there's the light in his eyes. So light's coming from this direction. So on the elf, I'm going to shade him this way. The shadow is on his right side, but our left side. And then the letters, I'm not really sure. I don't think it matters. I think you can just decide. So watch how I do this. I'm going to go up here to the circle. And I'm just going to extend the circle a little bit that way. As if there's light coming from here and it's shading that way. And then I'm going to come down here. And then I might even do another one because I really want it to be noticeable. Okay, now over here, I'm going to drop down a little bit. So I'm going to shade this line here, but I'm going to drop down so that it looks like that. So I'm going to draw a straight line like that. And then I'm going to come down here like that. 
And the reason I'm doing that is because it gives it a real sort of, well, old-fashioned sort of advertising look, which is kind of what we're going for um, with the pop art theme. I'm going to do the same thing with his ear. I'm going to come out and then down. And then down like that. Okay? So you see, that could be even more, I guess. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, huh? Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this line in a little bit thicker, not because it's shaded. Uh oh. And then this. And then I'm going to come over here, same thing. I'm going to drop down a little bit and then come down. Because that makes it look really cool. Right? Here's the thing. I messed up a little bit. Let's see. Let's go ahead and... I don't know if I can... I'm going to ignore that, really. Um, I have this mark here, like, that came off. It's hard to see on the picture. Let me show you. Um, you see here, right there, where I bled over a little bit. I'm choosing to ignore it because sometimes you get a problem like that and you can solve it. And sometimes if you try to solve it, it's just going to make a bigger problem. So I'm just going to ignore it. Um, I'm sorry to, sorry to let you down on that one, Elf. And then the same thing. I'm going to shade his head his chin here, but it's going to come in and eventually kind of become one with that line. I'm not 100% sure I wanted to do that, but I did, so there you go. It's bleeding a little bit, so it changes every time. Okay. Uh, now, I still want to come over and darken the outlines, but I don't want to highlight them. I just want to make them clear that they're the outlines. So I'm going to do that. And this, if you're going over lines again, you got to be real. Just go slow and be careful. Because that's where you can get in trouble when you, like, start adding lines and then you, like, go off a little bit and then you got to adjust and then you're, you're just adjusting forever. Um, and that's not a, that's a no-win situation. Just need to be careful here. Okay. Now I'm going to come, uh, now this would be shadowed, but I'm, same thing, I come down a little bit on the ear, you saw that. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's how that works. Now, I got to decide what I want to do with the letters. So the letters are, uh, uh, the question is, do we want the letters, the shadows on the letters, to go um, with the, the shading, with the shading on the uh, elf? Or does it matter, can the light be coming from anywhere? And I don't know, I'm going to delay my choice for a second. I'm going to come up here to the, Y, and I'm just going to do the Y the way I did the thing. So I'm going to come off a little bit from the top, and then I'm just going to go down. I'm even here going to stay off there a little bit, right? So there's the shadow is quite a ways behind it. Yeah, I, th I think I like it. I think, okay, so this would be totally black then. This would be coming up like this. Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep the light coming from the same. So everything I'm going to draw, everything I'm going to draw a straight line out. Let me show you. I'm going to draw a straight line out. So I'm going to come to the J. I'm going to come down a little bit from the top. And I'm going to draw a straight line out. Okay. 
but if you take your time on it and really like make it really like be careful then you can kind of get a cool a cool effect so you see that so you come down just a tad and you hang off so it's way behind it so i'm just going to keep keep doing that On the inside of the circle, it's the opposite. So if you shade on, like if you shade on this side, on the outside of the circle, you got to shade on the inside here. So uh, let's see, I don't have any circles to really show you except right here. Okay. Uh, same thing. Take your time and do this right, and you'll be happy with it. And obviously, like, the bigger the letter, the bigger the shadow. So the top always is uh, horizontal, right? Always perpendicular to, uh, to the bottom of the page. And then the other line follows whatever, like, whatever line it's attached to. So your letters may not be in the same place as mine, and that's okay. Um, just follow the same pattern. Or create your own. How should I do this? I'm going to do the top letter. So now I have a letter on top of a letter, so I have to make a decision. I'm going to just stick with how I've been doing. There we go. Uh, all right, cool. If you want, you can sign it. I'm going to sign it right here. Uh, all right. So there it is. Happy, happy elf, right? That's, oh no, I forgot the, I forgot his tongue. That was almost a disaster. This probably would have won a lot of like art competitions, but then they would have been like, well, why didn't he color his tongue? All right, there you go. Merry Christmas.